to another video. So as you can see the title of this video, we're about to have a little talk, a little chit chat, a little story time, I guess. Um, I said I had the idea to talk about this story because I get asked all the time about it. And um, I noticed a lot of people don't really talk about it with it being the holiday season or with it being um, Mother's Day. Um, I talked about it a lot at work, you know, in the salon, because a lot of people uh, talk about losing loved ones or losing a family member, in particular, a mother. So, if you're new to the channel, um, well, first of all, let me say, I'm going to be talking about losing someone and grief and things like that. So, if that is a trigger for you, this is your warning to click off the video, okay? Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. So, uh, what was I saying? Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So if you're new to the channel, um, I lost my mom in 2007. <laughs> I had to think about it. So in 2007, my mom passed away. Um, it was unexpected and very much not one of those planned situations. Like sometimes, you know, you know, if a family member is ill or, you know, okay, it's come to that time where you got to make plans for their transition. Where this was not the case in my mom's transition. I won't go into the details of specifically what happened, but... Um, I will tell you that she did transition in 2007 and uh, it was a very interesting time for me. So uh, with Mother's Day just passing or coming up, I'm not sure when you'll see this video, I wanted to just have the conversation about it, talk about it because a lot of people don't openly talk about or discuss their true raw feelings of the process of when your parent transitioned. So in my situation, I had a really good relationship with my mom. We were really close. We talked every day, all day. I popped up at her house, you know, all the regular mom relationship stuff, right? Um, and so she became ill and she ended up um, telling me prior to her getting you know, down like she did, she ended up telling me that she wanted me to take custody of uh, her children. She had adopted four children. And um, meanwhile, I'm 19 at the time. <laughs> um, so I am young, newly married, and um, she tells me she wants me to get the kids or something ever to happen to her, and so okay. And, um, but of course, we never think, you know, something's going to happen, but it did. And so it was a lot of transitions that went on during that time. So my family, my friends, everybody was thinking like, Dorcas must be losing it. What's going on? Because like I hadn't seen her cry or I hadn't seen her show like a whole lot of emotion during the situation. And it was a weird time because it was kind of hard to explain then because people are thinking, okay, we got to check on her, check on her, you know, make sure she's okay because we don't want her to like flip out, you know, on people just out of grief and out of hurt and pain. So basically my situation, what happened was I knew my mom was ill and at this point, this was before she transitioned, I knew it was pretty bad. And um, I was just trying to, I was trying to prepare myself for the best and the worst, if that makes sense, you know. And so I don't know if it was subconsciously or or what, but I had a dream about my mom passing like the day before she passed. 
and no, it's a couple of days before she passed, about two or three days. And I dreamed that she had passed away and it wasn't specifically what happened, but it was really close to what actually happened. So I dreamed that she passed away and um, after coming out of that dream, it was as if I grieved through that dream and then after that dream it was like i was grieving like i cried my eyes out so bad it was horrible as if she had already transitioned right so a couple of days after that i got the call saying that she transitioned and um it was almost like yes i was sad i was devastated but on the other hand it was like i was prepared for this so it's like i had already prepared Myself or it's like the Lord had already prepared me to handle it because I went from being sad and emotional and Grieving to it's like a light bulb went off like okay. I got to get stuff done. I got to handle this I got to do that. I got to do this and it was like I was so busy Until it was like I didn't really have the time to grieve if that makes sense and if you've lost somebody you may understand what i'm saying but it's like it's so much going on so it's like you go into a shock a state of shock or a state of you're just going through the motions in a sense and that's what i went through and uh a lot of people was like are you okay are you not crying like because even at the funeral I mean, I feel like I was all cried out. I don't know if y'all have ever experienced that. So you feel like, man, my tears, they're gone. Like, I had cried and cried and cried until my tears were gone. So it was like I was in shock. And I think it wasn't until after all of that, after, after the dust settled, after the arrangements and being with the family and all of that, which is a lot in itself. <laughs> But um, after all that, it was like, wow, like my mom is really gone. Like having to cope with that. And it kind of didn't hit me. I know everybody is different, but it didn't hit me again until a little later. And I think, well, a little later, of course, you know, months and weeks and every day it was a thing because it happened. But it really hit me on that following year for Mother's Day. Woo. So that's why I wanted to talk about like my first year not having my mom for Mother's Day. And I know somebody may be watching this and experienced the same thing. And it was probably one of the hardest. Ooh, it was one of the hardest days ever. And I can say that I was really, really active in my ministry at the time in my church. And um, I didn't go to church for a while. I didn't want to be around people. I I dropped out of school when my mom passed. I stopped working for a long time. And um, I, I don't even know how we were sustained. I guess my husband just took care of us because that portion of the situation was like a blur. So, but I, I, I vividly remember that first Mother's Day and um, for that first Mother's Day, I wanted to go to church, but I knew how it would be. You know, you know, if you're any type of holiday, for anything, any anywhere you go, it's just in your face, right? So of course, if you're at work and I'm I'm a hairstylist, everybody's getting ready for Mother's Day. Everybody's saying what they're purchasing for their mom or all of the commercials are about mothers and all the stores are advertising about moms and it's just mom, 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 right? And I went through probably all of the emotions. I was angry. I was, I was disappointed. I was sad. I was jealous. I became envious of other people because they had their mom. I went through every emotion in the book basically and I don't know how I convinced myself but for that Mother's Day I was like okay I'm gonna go to church you know I haven't been to church in a long time and I was like you know what I need to go to church 
I need to just do it. And I had got myself ready, but at the, the same time, I had like anxiety the whole time because I knew everything would be about mothers and I didn't have my mother. So I knew that people were gonna be coming to the church with their moms. They were gonna have it all cute and have gifts for the moms. And the sermon was gonna be about the mother. Like I was trying to prepare myself for that. And um, so I go to sleep thinking I'm gonna get up and go to church the next morning. I woke up, my eyes were so swollen to the point where I can like hardly see like they were like they were closed like that and they were swollen really big so apparently unknowingly I had cried myself to sleep cried through my dreams I don't know but I knew I had been crying all night probably just the fact that it was the first Mother's Day and I didn't have my mom and uh, my eyes were so swollen, I couldn't go nowhere. I couldn't see. So, I definitely couldn't go to church. So, I had to stay home. I couldn't go to church. And I, I think I cried the whole day, even with my puffy eyes. Because those are one of those times when, of course, you're used to having your mom. You know, you're used to it. So, of course, I had my husband and family to support me. But it was just... It was nothing nobody could say to me. Nothing. And uh, so I tell people all the time who have lost their mom, you know, and I get the question, well, how long is it going to be? Or how long does it take to get to this point and that point? And there's no gauge. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news because everybody grieves and everybody is different. But there's no time frame on you missing your loved one or you missing your mother specifically whether you had a good relationship with your mom or not so it's been since 2007 for me and it's still like it just happened you know so and i don't know if that's because you know you just can never it's just a mother's love you know it's just a mother's a relationship with your mom where it's just a different type of relationship. So I, I, I can't say that that's something that you'll just snap and like be out of it. But I can say for me that it has been the grace of God that has kept me mentally stable and um, comforted my heart because it hurts. Like honestly, it hurts to lose a parent. Like even losing my dad, losing my losing my grandmothers, losing other family members and friends, it really hurts. So it takes, in my case, it took the grace of God. It took much prayer and um, having a relationship with God to help me. Now, mind you, I have other people in my life who are mother figures, who are um, who are mentors, and people that love me as if. I'm their daughter but there's nothing like a mother and I wanted to like talk about my story because people don't talk about it it's not something that is talked about or discussed a lot so yeah um my first Mother's Day without my mom was a pretty rough one I cried all day my eyes were puffy and it just took me breathing through it, getting it out, crying it out, and I got better. And I can say as years progressed and moved on, I got better. Um, even now in this, in the time frame that it's, it's been now, uh, I have days, I have weeks. There are times when I can smell a scent or I can hear a song or I can um, see a color or or someone says something that reminds me of my mom and it could trigger that that feeling like man it can make you it can make you 
It can make you happy. It can make you sad. It can make you emotional. It can make you um, grateful. It just it just depends on that moment. And I have those moments quite often um, where it doesn't it doesn't have to be a holiday. It doesn't have to be a special event for me to miss my mom. It happens on a regular basis. Like it's not a day that goes by that I don't think about her. So I want to encourage you, if you have lost your mother, and I know this is Mother's Day season, and I know it is challenging. It is challenging. Um, don't let anyone tell you how to grieve. Don't let anyone tell you how to feel. Because especially if they can't sympathize with you if they have not lost a mother because you just won't understand until you've experienced it and i can truly sympathize with people who have lost a pain a mother specifically but both parents but specifically a mother because it's just a different type of feeling and i wanted to encourage you to that it's gonna be okay you know it is going to be okay. I thought it was not going to be okay. And look at me. Look at me. This year makes 16 years later. And I'm still living. I'm still here. Still making it. I'm still in my right mind. <laughs> I put my big girl panties on. And I'm out here adulting. And doing the things that she groomed and taught me to do. So. I just want to encourage you. That. It's going to be okay. And that you ought to make your mom proud because I know she's proud. I know that you are doing the things that she um, dreamed of and spoke over your life that you would be doing right now. And so that that alone comforts me um, during those rough times or those emotional times. And especially during the um, holiday season, it comforts me. So hopefully this little story time encourages you and uplifts your spirit to know that it's okay it's okay to feel how you feel and um it's okay to have your moment have your little crying moment your little tear if you need to but don't stay there pick yourself up brush yourself off and keep going because i'm certain that is what your mom will want you to do okay so I hope you all enjoyed this video, this story time, and until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.